The flower's dying. It needs water. much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Stay here until my research is complete. 
I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Nurse, this room is off-limits, and I'd prefer to keep it that way. Make sure the rest of the staff are so informed. Of course, Doctor. And what about the antiseptics? Or do I inform the staff that you're too busy? I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody...
Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. <laughs> Those two have hidden their affections well. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and... A certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin colour that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A riddle. 